Okay, so what I want you to do next is learn how to calculate universal, uh, sorry, uniformly distributed loads on beams. Um, so that's this one here, just so you know. Uh, your engineers, you know how this works. If you don't know, here's the equation. You got a distributed load per meter and then you, you got the length of the beam that it acts on and then you want to calculate the effective force at the centroid of the force and the centroid happens to be in the center of this universally distributed load that's just science there so we are going to assume um, it acts from the center point of a column underneath which you don't really need to worry about that for now because we haven't even put any column data in it but in 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 the workplace you're going to have to kind of uh, decide sorry you're gonna have to think about those things um, so yeah this is gonna be our uniformly distributed load on our beam of variable length uh, let's just assume this works at the center point uh, let me just that said um, okay cool let's go in to our calculator now I'm not going to show you how to show you myself typing these all out I have already pre-typed them you don't need to see me slowly typing them out um, to save you time I'm just gonna have made it and then I'm gonna explain how it works so I've created a new class called uniform load I've initialized it by telling it I want to take in a force and a length the reason I've named them this time instead of just giving them X and Y is because it just kind of increases the understanding of someone reading this later someone might um, not might be unfamiliar and they may need to if I put X and Y and then have another video explaining which one is force and which one is length they're not really going to know whereas someone that knows what a uniform load is can just look at this and say okay I know the force is the force per meter and the length is the length that it acts that the f uh, sorry the, the uh, length of the load of the uniformly distributed load so underneath that in inside that class I have the effective force calculator which just calculates force times length which is WL this equation here so the length times the uh, force per meter and then I also have an effective distance calculator which calculates basically L over 2 the length of the force divided by 2 which gives us the distance at which the uh, effective uh, force will act along that force. So we're going to assume, as I said, that the forces are distributed equally along the beam from the center point of the column underneath to the end of the beam. And we will assume we're going to use the same data. So whatever data you have, yeah, do this. Um, if you want to know how to quickly create this data, look at a previous video um, in this YouTube playlist. So we're going to assume Z equals the distance from the center to the end and let's just get started. So to calculate the effective force, by the way, we're going to assume that these forces are 50 kilonewtons. You want to test 50 kilonewtons or you want the answer for 50 kilonewtons per meter on each of these beams across their length. That's the scenario we're going to model in here. So um, we're going to say I'm just going to pause it and type this line because I feel like I'm wasting your time by typing too slowly. So all I've done is create a new column um, here, it will be, and this bit I can type faster. I, I want to use my effective force tool of uniform load and I want to take effective force out of that. So I want to give uniform load two values and then I want to tell it that I want to use this one. Um, so ENG refers to engineering dot uniform underscore load, which is my um, the class, and I want to test 50 kilonewtons, the force per meter, so 50 kilonewtons per meter that is. And the second one I want to test, uh, and the value of the length, the effective length will be Z underscore M, which is Z, but in meters as I gave a I gave it that variable in a previous video um, and then I want to tell it what I want so I want the oh sorry it's dot F underscore force open close bracket and I will print R 
there you go that's all of that done now I'm gonna copy this Control C Control V and remember to rename this or else you'll replace effective force and you'll have to redo it by going up to this one and running that one again um, this one will create a new one and I'm gonna change this to effective length just to find the length now remember this class takes in two values so you put in both values but don't worry about putting in the force uh, don't worry about um, don't be curious about why we put the force in anyway because it needs two to run this class but this one will only take the length in so don't think about it too much if you're so, so, so just remember that if you're new to this kind of stuff so the name of that module was if f underscore distance and that gives you the length now what I can do is I can multiply these two together manually inside Jupiter but I'm not going to do that I want to show you how to use the point load class which is up here um, you can take a point load and calculate its moment so the moment at this um, the moment of this effective force will be and I will skip the long typing so it's that bit, the, all the things together to slow me down a bit. So eng dot, uh, the tool is called point underscore load, and I will feed in the two values. I'll pause it for that. Um, so that's the I've I put this column, the name of it, uh, inside. Uh, so I've got R and then a square bracket, the names of each of the columns for both of the values because it, this takes in two values, the force and the length. And then I want to call up the moment calculator, so or module even. So I'll say after that I say after the brackets I say dot moment, open close bracket, and then I want to print R just to see. Shift enter. And there you go. There are the moments in you know what ah yeah okay hold on a sec yes sorry the numbers just looked a bit big for me but it, it does kind of make sense yeah I haven't done moment calculations for quite a while but I do understand them um, so 300 so these are the effective forces in kilonewton meters the effective length in meters and then no sorry the effective force in kilonewtons the effective length in meters and then the effective the moment in or effective moment in kilo newton meters um, in the future videos we're going to plot a graph on this and do a bunch of stuff and then we're going to go into steel uh, calculations I beams and things like that and I'm just going to quickly show you how it looks in an Excel spreadsheet I'll come here copy that uh, oh, I should have brought the quote marks in now that I think about it um, and I'll call it B dot XLSX close quote close bracket boom now when I open that um, we have the spreadsheet with all of those cool things we just did voila so please like share and subscribe I hope you learned something interesting I hope to see you soon in more of my videos thank you very much